Hey guys and welcome back today for a brand new video. We are going to be doing like a chatty style video today. I just saw that Makeup Geek is now out of business. Like they put up a video and they basically said like they are putting everything on clearance and they are closing down at the end of April. So like completely closing down. So I want to talk about that in today's video, just my thoughts on it. And then also go over some brands that I think like maybe on their way out as well. I feel like a lot of makeup brands have been closing down lately and I kind of want to share some that I think could be headed that way as well. So let's go ahead and get started. So I do want to start this video by preferencing the fact that it's really sad to see these makeup brands, you know, going under and going out of business. It's really sad. I know recently BH Cosmetics just announced that they filed for bankruptcy and actually ended up, I know they just sold to Revolution Beauty. So they went out of business. Becca, we know, was a big one that went out of business. And now Makeup Geek has officially said they are closing. So it's really sad to see brands, you know, going out of business. I feel like that's happened a lot um, due to this last like couple years. I feel like it's been really hard for a lot of companies, a lot of people in general. I know myself included. It's been a tough few years. So really sad to see another makeup company, you know, closing its doors. I just feel like it's really something sad. Obviously people are losing their jobs and anytime that's going to happen, that's just like really heartbreaking. I feel really bad for Marlena and everyone over there and everyone at the companies that are closing. So let's talk a little bit about Makeup Geek. So she she did just post a quick video it was like a five minute video just saying that she was going to be closing down the brand due to covid and everything else that has just been too much for her i think she believe i believe she was said that production time was one of the big factors and what i found interesting is that i remember when becca shut down i feel like a few people were kind of like thinking makeup geek might be next but honestly i didn't think so because they had been selling they started selling i believe in target so i feel like that was like a big step and then also i know they were doing like this big like rebrand and i was like wow they really you know must be doing pretty well for themselves but she had mentioned in the video that that was actually what had happened was they started the rebrand and then COVID hit and then they weren't able to um like stock their rebrand or get the product or the inventory in for that so they just didn't have any products at all to like you know be new so in that short video she just basically said that all of the makeup geek products that are left i know she was in the warehouse so you could see like the products behind her she was saying that everything is that that is left in the warehouse is now going to be clearanced out and then once it's gone it is gone so if you want to shop any of their products definitely check them out and shop them before you can't but she said they won't be like restocking anything or anything like that so it seems kind of abrupt uh i know that like those things you know obviously are thoughtful decisions and like something you you know obviously think about for a long time but i feel like that was kind of like an abrupt video like it was kind of casual and just like a five minute quick like okay we're closing kind of a thing I know she said that she wants to go more in detail on things but I don't know what happened to where it was needed to be so rushed that she was announcing that they were closing maybe like word got out or something and I honestly didn't really see BH cosmetics coming there are a few brands that I could see you know kind of heading out the door but BH wasn't really one I thought about because I feel like they've been around for so long and I do see their palettes like out there I mean I know they're not like the most sought after brand but I do feel like I see quite a bit of buzz about them from, from like other creators here and just like in general I see their products you know at Kohl's and things like I don't know I kind of thought they were doing okay for themselves but it just goes to show too like we really don't know what's going on with these brands like we can think like the you know brands are doing amazing but really in the reality they aren't so it's kind of hard to know what's going on behind closed doors you know the ones that we may think are doing amazing maybe they aren't or the ones that we think aren't doing so good like maybe they're doing okay for themselves so I'm gonna kind of go through the brands that I can just think of off the top of my head that I feel like I haven't heard a lot from or seen a lot from that I feel like could possibly be brands that I could see coming out. I want to be careful with how I preference this because I obviously never want to see any brand go out of business and I don't want people to lose their jobs and I don't want these brands to just disappear. Like I hope that they don't, but I do feel like it's something that I feel like I would like to start the conversation about and maybe talk with you guys down in the comment section about what brands you also think might be out the door. So the first one I thought of was Cover FX. I have not seen anything from Cover FX in a long time. Like something that I feel like I feel like was new or like innovative. And I remember when they came out, I feel like they were pretty well talked about. I remember they had like their enhancing like liquid highlights that everyone was using and then also their perfect setting powder I feel like was a really hot seller there for a minute but I haven't seen anything from cover effects in a while actually I haven't even thought about them in a long time but I was on Ulta the other day and I noticed that all of their products were like on sale at Ulta which I don't know if that means they're just going to be leaving Ulta or if um something else is going on but I did notice they were all going to be on sale so I I don't know that's a brand that I feel like I just don't hear a ton about that I wouldn't be surprised if um something happened there with them or maybe they were going to sell or something like that. Another one that I thought of as well is Stila. Now I know Stila has been around a long time and I feel like they do have like those core sta 
staple products like I know a lot of people love like their liquid liner and things but for some reason I just feel like Stila for me is just one of those brands that I can't really ever get excited about their like new launches for I know when they came out with the glitter and glow like eyeshadows those were like all the rage everyone had them I had a bunch of them they were expensive too like they were like $18 a liquid shadow and I think I had like five of them um I know a lot of people loved those but I haven't seen them really come out with anything like innovative I feel since then or anything that I was like oh I want to buy that and I they're just one of those brands that have never like super intrigued me I've never really bought much from them aside from those glitter and glows like I've never bought in their eyeshadows or anything like that I think I had a lip product from them once and then also that liner that I feel like a lot of people talked about but aside from that it's never like something that I'm like oh I want to try that from Stila like they're just kind of one of those brands that I'm like you know do, are they doing well I don't really know and then I started to think about drugstore brands and I was like what drugstore brands could I see like not continuing and I kind of thought like Physicians Formula maybe for like a minute but I still feel like they're pretty relevant I do enjoy a lot of their products I still feel like they're coming out with products like regularly so I don't see them really going anywhere but I was thinking about all May because I was trying to think like what are some of the old school like like drugstore brands I thought about Revlon but I do feel like Revlon has been having a few like newer releases I've been seeing them you know coming out with some new innovative things but All May is one of those brands that I just never really loved all of their products I feel like they, they kind of are like at that higher drugstore point I feel for the quality I just don't feel like it matches the price point I would love to see them like maybe do like a rebrand and kind of like regroup and come out with like some new maybe innovative products like I want to see these brands succeed but I just like I was thinking too like I don't really see all may in the influencer space very often now there are personally I can only speak to myself I mean you guys may see them like out in the drugstore and things and like I see them there too but like I, the brands that I think of are the brands that I'm seeing like out there like TikTok's about and I'm seeing you know um tutorials using those brands and I'm seeing like PR packages and things and I don't really see all my like ever like I don't really see that any influencers like talking about their products or anything and I'm sure there are of course creators that use them but I honestly cannot tell you the last time I saw someone like talking about an all my product that they loved like that they were like enjoying and I do see like other and I do see other drugstore brands getting hype for their products and all is just not like one of those brands that I ever see really being talked about a ton so I wouldn't be surprised if something happened with them although I do feel like with the drugstore brands they do have those core audience audiences that have been purchasing their products for a long time because not everybody is into like YouTube and Instagram and TikTok and things so like not everybody is purchasing because of reviews and I feel like All May is one of those obviously drugstore brands that you see when you're there and you grab so I think that they do have that going for them but I don't know I just something about them I feel like they just really haven't like evolved with the times in my opinion and what's interesting is I used to think that about Milani because I feel like Milani was one of those brands for a while that I saw a lot of their like products going on clearance and I just feel like they never really had anything like new coming out so, like they had that perfecting foundation but like really I was like man like I could see without like Milani you know kind of going out of business and then now I feel like Milani has made like a comeback they've came out with like a ton of new products that I'm really seeing them a lot and I'm really loving a lot of the new stuff that they've been coming out with so I feel like that's a brand that kind of did that you know like let me reroute let me like regroup figure out what we need to do and now I feel like they've became relevant again so I very well could see that with any of these brands you know kind of of redoing their structure and really re coming out and you know making their products new and innovative and fun again another brand that I thought of was Lime Crime I feel like Lime Crime used to be like that hot new brand I feel like they had a lot of new products new innovative products I feel like a lot of people talked about them but Lime Crime is one of those brands I are hardly ever see anyone mentioning and I know they have had a lot of controversy with the brand over the years and I could just really see them um, not doing the best right now maybe they are but I, I really Really never see anything like about Lime Crime. I feel like there's a lot of other indie brands like I could mention like there's quite a few that I'm like I could see them not doing super well right now but I think that's all I'm going to mention for this video. I more want this to be like a conversation down in the comment sections where you guys can let me know what brands you think you know might be on their way out. I am sad about Makeup Geek. I can remember when they were just like the hot thing on YouTube I can honestly remember purchasing from them I spent my money on those $10 single eyeshadows like I think creme brulee was a really popular one that I had to get and what was the other one it was um it was like a brown shade that everyone had I can't think of the name of it I just looked it up it was the shade bitten that is another shade that everyone always used the shame 
Britain, Shima Shima, I had that one. There's like so many of these that are just like nostalgic and I feel like a lot of us had them probably in our collection if you were like consuming YouTube because they weren't like the only eyeshadows that everyone was using. So I am really sad to see them go. They also sent me a PR package when I was relatively small, which I do really appreciate. And that was something that I remember I was so excited when I got that box from them because that was a brand that I had, you know, watched so much on YouTube and for them to, you know, send me a package and their team was always so sweet. So I'm just bummed about that and I hope that you know she said she has new ventures and I hope that you know she can have that new company or something or you know new avenues that she can explore and hopefully it does really well in but definitely leave your thoughts on this down below and I will see you guys very soon with a brand new video. Bye!